I want to do a video here of uh, an order I did uh, recently at Numeric uh, of some Enfield parts I picked up just for a restoration I'm doing. Uh, this video is in um, October of 2021. I'll just show you uh, the quality of the stuff they have and uh, I'm going to show a couple of helmets that I've uh, got over the surplus market also and one of them came from my numeric order also uh, to start off with they come with uh, I got a bunch of screws in that all are perfect the one actually looks like it's uh, almost uh, brand new and I got these uh, the sight wings with the uh, the uh, like the kick to the side for the adjustable sights because I needed that uh, style for my gun and uh, it looks pretty good it's definitely used and uh, it'll clean up it's not uh, rusted it's just kind of dirty and you can see the uh, it's uh, worn it's kind of worn um, the sling swivel here is the only part that it's it's got uh, a real uh, kink in it it's really smushed right there it, I don't think it really matters though it it shouldn't really affect anything too much because it's on the uh, the top the part that faces into the gun so the sling doesn't really ride on there so it should be good I, I can't remember how much I paid but it wasn't very much the uh, the sear I got is in like just beautiful condition it it doesn't even look like it's been used all the flats they don't have any uh, rubbing marks on them and uh, the top it it like it's very dirty from being uh, in storage I'm sure but uh, it looks just I don't know fantastic condition and there's a mid band here I got and it looks like Singer manufacturing again and just excellent condition I've, I've not touched or cleaned any of these up I've just taken them out of their packages as I got them and uh, it moves free and it's excellent it's not uh, mint condition or anything but it's perfect for uh, restoring in the nose cap also it's uh, it's covered in grease and good condition and it's an actual uh, British uh, British made one it's not uh, like off of a drill purpose gun or because sometimes the drill purpose ones will have that paint all over them which is kind of hard to get off or uh, Indian gun or anything it it's in uh, really good shape I also picked up a magazine because it was $20 so I figured why not and it's excellent everything I don't know who makes it but everything on it like the it's just very accurate to the original magazines with the spring clip on the uh, on the back down here and the uh, finish is nice it's a little rough like the uh, where it's been uh, sanded down or filed off or something but that it doesn't matter it doesn't bother me it looks nice and the uh, the follower uh, the follower works okay and I'm sure that could be replaced with an original uh, follower if you if you wanted to I don't see why not um, this is bent down here and I haven't used the magazine obviously yet so I don't know if that will affect it at all but of course I can just bend that up it's just thin metal so all these parts and they were they were very cheap or reasonably priced and uh, um, I think it was a fantastic deal it's from numeric uh, gun parts in uh, the United States um, one other thing that I picked up was this Swedish helmet they were they were 12 I believe 1295 in um, at numeric and I can't believe it's like in brand new condition like there isn't uh, anything wrong with it at all it I'm sure it hasn't been repainted but it's just like it's like brand new 
and I'm not sure how long the Swedes used this helmet, but I'm sure it, the last time they used them was at probably the 80s or 90s. It has to be at least 20, 25 years old at, at you know, the youngest. And um, I, I couldn't believe it. It's an excellent deal just to even hang it on the wall. It uses these interesting uh, clips for the, for the chin strap. The one on the bottom is a uh, split and the one on the top is uh is solid i don't really know i'm not i don't really know a whole bunch about helmets other than they're just cool especially when they're like twelve dollars so that's the helmet i picked up at numeric this helmet here is a um a yugoslavian helmet they call them serbian helmets now but uh with the red star is uh actually Yugoslavian because it's still the communist star and then you'll see the Serbian ones they'll have this either uh, painted over rubbed off and they'll have their own it's like a red white and blue uh, marking on there that would be a, a Serbian helmet they used during the uh, uh, Civil War they had and uh, these are you can commonly find at surpluses in Canada and in the US too and they run for about $40, but they're in quite a bit worse condition than the, the Swedish helmet. Uh, you can find them on sale sometimes for about $30. And uh, inside you can see that they were, they were probably issued and used, but, um, but very lightly. They're still uh, usable, workable helmets. Uh, this other helmet I have here is... Uh, Bulgarian helmet. You could find them pretty cheap. You can find them pretty cheap, and a lot of people don't realize what they are. Like they are actually uh, some of them World War II produced, and um, they're sort of like a gem because you can get them pretty cheap for uh, thirty or forty dollars uh, if you're if you're lucky. If your uh, surplus has them and. Uh, if they have the uh, decal, I believe that means they're older. If there was a, there used to be a decal here. And uh, they're all usually pretty, uh, you can tell they're pretty old. The leather is gone in them, but this leather is still soft, so. So I just thought I would do a review on a couple of surplus helmets that are commonly available. And um, my order for the Enfield number one uh, Mark three parts and all of them are excellent and were reasonably priced and uh, so that's about it so thank you for watching